So we're here in rural New Zealand today and I have now I'm staying with a friend of mine Sally and I have noticed that when she feeds some of these horses out here in the paddock that there's some things she could probably do a little bit better. She's not really having any trouble with these horses, they're not dangerous or anything. A lot of people ask me about, oh my horse did this or my horse does that or whatever when they are feeding it and so I noticed yesterday Sally did a couple of things that I might be able to help her with. So Sally just go ahead and feed whoever it is you're going to feed first. So she feeds one of these mares before the other one. Perfect, now it's just step away, that was really good. So, it was really good because it was really bad. Just watch your back there. See, she's turned the hind end around. You just hop over the fence here for a second. So if you notice then, Sally, you, you and I think a lot of people do this, they, they try to do the right thing and don't quite get it done. And if you think about, they've got to do more than you. And right then, she came over into your space and you said, get back, and she got back about that much and she was straight back again. And then you kind of did it again. You said, get away, and she like pinned her ears at you and kind of, uh, and then she stood there and kind of stood behind you, kind of half pinning her ears at you until you were done. Now, she wasn't knocking you over or anything, but she was basically in a horse language say, Sally, get out of the way. Go on, Sally, get, get away from my food, Sally. And then it was all good, and then you got up and you left. And so the first thing that happened was she said, get away. And the last thing that happened was you got away. But what didn't happen was you didn't change her mind about things. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you think about the last thing she just did was say, get away from my food, and you did. You think about the first thing she would say, get away from my food, and she did it for long enough, and just like the, what happened right there, you got away from her food. So let's just go ahead and do this one, and I'll see if I can help you out with, um, with what you do. So see right there, she just moved a little bit. Just make, keep going until she moves completely away. Keep going, right there. Perfect, very good. Then just go ahead and put your food in there, and see she's coming back again, which is no big deal. Just leave it. Oh. Big difference already. See right there, she is not telling you to get away from her food. She is waiting for you. That didn't take much, did it? Now hang on a second there, you just go ahead and mix it up. Um, and so all you did right then was made sure that that mare said, sure, I will get away, as opposed to, now right there, chase her off again. Off you go. Just be careful, I wouldn't get that close. Oh, I wouldn't do that, personally. I mean, you could have got yourself kicked right then, until <laughs> they get away, but I definitely wouldn't, you know, if you needed more than that, I'd probably carry something like, this or, or the bucket or whatever but i i personally wouldn't be doing that because you could get yourself kicked quite easily but you see you did something till she went off uh right there so you went to walk away and she said i'm going to get that oh hang on maybe i'm not so the whole thing you're trying to do here is get those horses to where they'll wait over there and what you don't want to do right there i'd send her off again perfect good what you don't want to do, and see she went further away, and then she's probably going to wait over there, and she's licking her lips, she's going to wait all the way over there. Now, this mare just did exactly the same thing to her with her food. She told her to get away, and she went away a bit, and then she came back, and then she ended up running her a long way off. So just wait there for a second. What I wouldn't want you to do at this point in time is stand there like, and guard, the guard the food. Yeah. You should be able to relax and where you are right now, just step over to the side, and she shouldn't be coming over here and until you actually turn and leave that's your food you know it's just like her food if she was wanting to if there's only one feed out here right now and that mare there went okay i'm done and she turned and walked off this one would be free to go over and get it but whatever that one was saying i'm going to come and get some of that she said no you're going to go over there and and wait does that make sense it makes a huge difference like right there i'd send her off again keep going I would have kept going then because you notice she went, see she came straight back, perfect. And the reason she came straight back is because you didn't get her to go away. You, you know, it's the whole don't say, don't say, do. Right then you said don't come any closer instead of saying do go away. I don't know if you guys could see that because of the tree right there, but Sally said go and the man went, I'm kind of, and she got half sideways onto you and was thinking about coming back. And as soon as you stepped back, she came straight back again. Does that make sense? Now, good, right there, she just licked her lips, she's looking at you like, oh, well, I'm, she's, I'd hop over the fence, you're done now. But there was a huge part of that right there when you said, I mean, pretend you're the other, the horse, you kind of, get back, get back, and she kind of went a little bit like that, and then right there when you quit, she came straight back. 
The time before that, when you said get away, she got away and stayed away. And it's the, it's the fine line between, you know, there's a small line between you saying get, a, you know, get back and get the hell away from my food. And the first one doesn't work. Like, it's almost what you did with this one. Just stay back, stay back, stay back. And she was still push, mentally pushing on you. And that one right there, that for the most part at the beginning it was good. And then that one time you went get away and you quit when she was still mentally kind of pushing on you. As soon as you relaxed, she came straight back. So hopefully you guys can see the difference between getting them off you and stopping them from coming forward. There's a huge difference. And it's that don't say, don't say, do thing. Instead of saying, don't come over here, you want to say, do go over there. Anyway, I thought that was great. Thanks for letting us video that.